Uh, again, keeping a very close eye on the storm because we will feel the impacts here in the Queen City. But in the meantime, our Queen City News anchor Ann Wyatt Little is on the ground in Tampa right now, which, as we just heard, a Ann Wyatt, uh, that storm hurricane, I should say, is heading right towards Tampa. How are things going there right now? Yeah, you know what, Annie? It's a really nice afternoon. It's calm and cloudy, but we all know what is coming here, and that's Hurricane Ian. Uh, sometime within the next 36 hours, weather landfall is here in Tampa or to the south of us, as Tara and Elisa were just talking about. People here spent the day preparing. As Hurricane Ian inches closer. It's about 8 a.m. We started up on, like, North McDill, and have been, I guess it's 1.30 now. <laughs> I saw people walking up, grabbing bags and leaving. So I just came, parked, grabbed my bags and I can find sand. Some people in Tampa waited hours for free sandbags as they prepare for Ann's impacts. So always prepare for the worst, but expect for the best. Well, this is the first time that we experience something like this. It's really scary, uh, but we try to be calm, uh, especially with the ladies. I try to just keep patient, get ready, get the water, get everything that we need. An estimated 2.5 million people are under evacuation orders. While many are preparing to ride it out, others are hitting the road. For medicines, clothes. We're boarding up. Uh, we didn't think about doing it yesterday. While the next few days will be challenging, they know they'll weather this storm too. You know, we don't want to wish it on anybody else either. So if it's not going to land here, it's going to land somewhere else either way. So. I'm firmly uh, believe in faith um, and I'm firmly a uh, believer in Psalms 91. I am up under the shadow of the Almighty. The local power officials here will make the decision in the next couple of hours whether to proactively shut down power to parts of downtown Tampa. Here within the next hour, at Tampa International Airport officials will suspend operations. Reporting live in Tampa, Ann Wyatt Little, Queen City News. All right, Ann Wyatt, thank you. Hopefully you and photojournalist Brian uh, Christensen are staying safe out there.